Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And welcome back viewers to Let's Play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We are still here on Zepho. I'm wondering if I'm actually going to make it back to the Mantis this episode. I'm also wondering if I'm going to have a lightsaber duel against one of those Inquisitors. Because it sure seems to be setting up the game for that. But even more than those things, I'm wondering what's down here. Ah. Pretty much exactly what I thought. Just this place again. Yeah, just another way down here. And I never did explore over this direction, did I? Hmm. I do not like the sound of that. And that ceiling looks like it's about to collapse. Okay. More wall running back and forth. Huh. Please come back down here so I can see you. Okay, that got him. Right. kind of dark over here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I have to use the wind to go up. All right. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What's he fighting? What is that thing? A purge trooper. Hmm. Okay. Could it be this is the way I'm supposed to be going? I don't think it is. Because when I went up that elevator at the end of the previous episode, I had a conversation over the comm with Sari. But it looks like there is a direction I can go over here. Oh, wait a second. Oh! That takes me right out... <laughs> that takes me right out this door I couldn't open before. We're straight to the Mantis. Oh, my goodness. And I just had to go exploring. <laughs> okay, well... I'm here now. Uh... How exactly do I get over there? Is that another wind current? Ever 
Okay, what were you saying about not defeating you? Thanks, BD1. Electro Baton Purge Trooper. And Excavation Saw. I've already seen a few of those. These excavation saws were specifically designed to cut through planetary bedrock, giving the Empire access to th secrets thousands of kilometers below the surface. Okay. But there's also a new purge trooper info. There we go. Armed with electric batons, they may attack in flurries of quick strikes, but vulnerable after finishing the initial attack. An agile and shifty counterattack are able to dodge and parry incoming strikes. Well, that last incoming strike where I ran right up to him and cut him in two was quite successful despite that, so... Eh. And another Force Echo. That's an excellent find. It will need my personal evaluation. Hmm... A tool dropped in excitement over a mysterious find by a worker during the excavation. It appears they found what they were looking for. Well, that puts a new spin on this. They didn't withdraw because they didn't find anything. They withdrew because they did. And then lied and claimed that they didn't. Mm-hmm. Hey, now. What's that, baby one? A new skin for BD1. Best team. Oh no, I like that one. A bit. The blue is a bit more greenish than my usual preferred tint, but. Yeah, I do like that one. Let's go with it. Lightsaber material. Cerakote. Cerakote? Cerako something. What am I hearing? There's. Sounds like there's an animal of some sort pretty close by. Okay, so now I'm up here, am I? Um, wait a second, where exactly am I? Okay, there's... Yeah. yeah there's the area that I came out from. And a meditation spot, okay. Uh, let's see. And here's another elevator. Uh, that's pretty far over there. I don't think I can jump that far. More Zepho statues. Yeah, at least right now that's too far to jump. And there should be a rope over here that I can lower. Ah! 
What? I think I'm done here. Okay, that gave me a bit of, let's say, training on fighting that guy. I learned a few of his moves. And where does this take me? Uh... Oh, wait a second. Is this where I think it is? Oh yeah, this is... This is a place I didn't explore outside of the Zepho Temple before. I came in here and knocked down the wall and then thought it looked like the way back, so I went over there to explore a bit more, but it turned out the other place was the, really the way back. And so I've been really annoyed. Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Okay. A broken pot smashed by the officer in charge of Project Augur. She was angry that they weren't finding what she wanted. Hmm. <laughs> And now we have another ice slide to bring me down somewhere else. Whoa. Line corner. Oh man, my heart barely made that. Okay, so he's far enough away that I can get in a quick meditation. Alright, so I've saved it now. Okay, there's going to be an, at least one more R.O.U.S. down there. Alright, let's see if I can take care of that one with a jump attack. Clumsy. Hey. What is it? A poncho material. Wayfarer. Yeah. Not bad, but
I guess the darker color would allow for a bit more camouflage, although it would stand out pretty well in these ice caves. Not that it makes a difference gameplay-wise, it's purely cosmetic. Yeah. I don't know, it doesn't really speak to me. But, eh, whatever. Okay, so is going past the big guy really my only way back out of here? Looks like it is, unfortunately. And let's see here. There's a rope over there that I can cut. Let's see if I can do that without facing off against this guy. Excuse me. Just passing through. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Are you going to follow me down? Apparently not. Okay, so only this goat to deal with. I think I can handle that. Ow! So much for handling that. Darn it. Well, that was... Little help. Better. Uh... Okay. Um, shoot. Ah. Was the force push not aimed properly or something? I mean... It's just kind of weird. Well, no matter. Okay. Let's not play around with that then. Okay, tell you what. Let's get over here out of the line of fire. Yes, I am. Um, why is this guy not actually firing? <laughs> well, that was stupid. But hey, I'm not going to argue with what works. Okay. Back to where we started the episode, finally. Uh, 
Uh, a lot of clumsy nonsense going on back there, but I made it through. Yeah. i not sure I like this. I'm not sure I like this. It feels like there's going to be a boss fight before I get off world. Okay, I got a skill point. Let's see. What would be a good choice? Enhanced force recovery? Cal regains more force when he defeats an enemy and regains some force when he hits a blocking enemy. Well, that could be useful. I keep finding myself running out during fights. Leaping Slash. I don't have enough skill points for that. I need another one. Yes, same here. I need two points. Evasive Kick. Attacking after a quick evade allows Cal to quickly perform a kick attack. Mm, delay Thrust. Sprint Strike. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special lightsaber attack. What's that do? Hmm. Well, maybe later, but yeah, not right now. Agile deflection. Hmm. Yeah, I do want that, but I think for now I'm going to go with enhanced force recovery. Right then. Between what everyone's been saying and the music that's playing now, Yeah, between what everyone's been saying and the music, I get the feeling there's a boss fight coming up. Okay. Curious. Is there something over here? Yeah. I'm kind of curious, but not enough to delay my. S oh my. That's bad. Cal, we've got a walker firing on us, and our weapons are down. Is that him? Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on, I'm on my way. I don't like this. Ha! Okay. Come on. Ha! 
Okay, I like that one. On. Almost got him. Sorry, dude, but had to do that. Susceptible to sabotage of its own grenades and missiles, legs are vulnerable. The all-terrain scout transport, also known as a scout walker, is a lightweight bipedal two-person transport deployed for ground force support in the Galactic Empire. They were often used for swift reconnaissance and targeting smaller threats that evaded the larger ATATs. Equipped with chin-mounted medium blaster cannons capable of firing at a range of two clicks, as well as side cannons armed with rockets and concussion grenades targeting enemy vehicles and ground troops at close range. Yeah, couldn't let you start shooting at me now, could I? Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zeppo Sage. They definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk? I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. So we better get ready for a fight. <sighs> He's more confident. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah. Well, I understand. More than you realize. Why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started, and our clone troops turned against us. My Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but Mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. No. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. <sighs> but that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Hmm. Sarah shares an awful memory about her past. During the Jedi Purge, she was captured and tortured by the Empire. She was able to escape, but her Padawan was not so lucky. Years later, the event has left her scarred and reluctant to use the Force. Hmm. 
I wonder if Trilla actually did escape and Sarah either doesn't know or is still trying to protect her. And there's the interesting, I won't say contradiction, but interesting part. I suppose interesting is not a very good word, considering torture and all that, but the noticeable part about how she wasn't killed, even though that's what the purge was all about, just killing the Jedis. So why would they capture her instead? Eh, eh. Yeah, there is still more to the story. But I think it'd probably be best to let that lie for now. Yeah, Cal certainly looking a lot. I'll have a few seeds. Certainly acting a lot more confident. Maybe getting a bit too cocky. Oh, I had three seeds, did I? That's pretty impressive. I thought I only had two. Dream War. Royal Fluzz and Gillipod or Gillipod Hard G or Soft G and check out the lightsaber we have several new parts Still only the three colors? There should definitely be at least two more colors. Purple for Mace Windu's lightsaber and red for Dark Jedi's lightsaber. Let's leave it orange for now though. Emitter. So yeah, we got a few new ones, I think. Only one new one. And that's... Eh. <laughs> kind of plain looking. Yeah, I still like the original Jaro Tapal. few more switches here. Duty and Resolve 1 and 2, huh? I like the design on this one. Not so much this one. Let's go with this. Elemental nature? I guess I could go with the full set of duty and resolve. nature. Yeah, why not?
copper. Ooh, that's... Ugh. That's hurting my eyes. Caracoat. Slavian iron. Arcitron. Yeah, I like the more bluish shades much better than the reddish orangey shades. Uh. Now this one, yeah, I I do like this one. The darker tint doesn't hurt my eyes so much. Okay, I think that's enough. And now, obviously, we need to rest up, save the game. All right. As boss fights go, that one wasn't too bad. There's a long journey ahead of us. These yeah. ancient tombs didn't survive all this time because they were easy to find. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. I can see that. I'm glad you believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Hmm. I always have. Ever since I was a youngling, I trusted in the Force. Those names on the list, they're a test. And I believe I will succeed. I like your confidence. A journey like this one can challenge you in ways you've never been before. I understand. I think I'm ready. We've got your back, Cal. Yeah, you and me, we're unstoppable together. <laughs> Don't you think, kid, huh? The man is in greaves, every time perfect landing. You could say that. Ever piloted a ship before? No, mostly just scrapper transports and Braca. Oh, kid, you gotta get in the cockpit sometime. Feel the controls in your hands and the galaxy in your grasp. Oh, it's unbelievable. Sounds good. Let me know when. Huh? No, not mine. <laughs> Man, it's no way. I'm just saying you should try it sometime. But with someone else's ship. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. Yeah, honestly, I'm very tempted. <laughs> I've been thinking for a while, you know, going back to Bagano. Mm, I'm very tempted. Now that I have BD1 Scomplink repaired and the force push power, I can definitely get more places and do more things. But honestly, I also want Force Pull before I start redoing my retracing my steps. So yeah, I think I just want to move on with the main quest, as it were. Let's see. Here on Zepho, we haven't even explored half of it yet. Haven't gotten even half the chests. Only three out of 14 secrets. There's a lot more to do here. Bogano. About two-thirds of the way explored, but lots of chests and lots of secrets. But, yes, I want... I want uh, all the force powers before I start retracing my steps. Hopefully I'll get pull here on Kashyyyk. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire, yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off, please. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core worlds. Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable worlds. 
Not like Latero. As long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, it'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. Yep. Time to land. Get up here. Ah. Oh, tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I break the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, just right. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. right. All right. All right. So I don't see anything. So we occupied with something on the ground. We're clear. Hmm. Preoccupied, but with what? That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. In case I've been enslaved. Or displaced. Displaced. Another euphemism. Supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters. Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarful could be with them. Tarful could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone Wars. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. So no freeze breeze to work his magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Alright, if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? All right. Okay, so droids are waterproof. Or at least this droid is waterproof. Do this? Whoa. That was close. That's putting it mildly. I hope this is the direction I'm supposed to be going. Okay, now what? Um Seriously, now what? <laughs> Is there something I can grab hold of to climb up? Oh, there it is on the leg right there, those vines. Maybe we can get up there. Come on, come on, get up! Get up, Cal! Left trigger. Okay, which direction now?
So far, so good. Okay. Now we're. Up. Oh, darn, don't. Don't get shot. Almost there. Guess we keep going. <laughs> um, Cal, please keep going. You said so. Let's do that. Okay, thank you. Let's climb to the top. Ow. Um, <laughs> okay. I was just gonna. You know, I was just gonna slice him in two. Okay. What? No pulse. Your turn to report fatalities. <sighs> this is L nine seven two four zero reporting in. We've got confirmed casualties. Um, let's see. What was that? It's the Jedi! I, I got it! Come on, I'm blocking! Yeah, don't showboat or anything, Cal. I mean, we're not done yet. Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at seventy percent integrity and in falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. Got one. Huh? Uh, it actually worked. Okay, uh, throttle. Report, what's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Can you shut that guy up? Stand down or we won't have... <laughs> Let's do this. How do I fire? Those are the blasters. Whoops. That's out of the way. Um, okay, where am I shooting for? Okay, what should I be aiming for? That, maybe?
I have no idea where I'm going or what I need to shoot. Hey! Who are you? Someone who just brought Nat out to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. <laughs> We're advancing on an imp landing pad up ahead. With my fire support. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. Okay. Okay, there's someone coming out there. Gotta take them out. Anything else? Okay, I think we better get out of here. Yeah, um, that was fun. <laughs> doing that again <laughs> you just wrecked a perfectly good walker got a name Cal Kestis so Guerrero. what are you doing on Kashyyyk looking for somebody what are you doing here my companions and I came <clears throat> to Kashyyyk to disrupt and pill supply lines hey! Who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. Oh, good. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Breeze, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that over corpse. My master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go! Go! Okay, this is an interesting twist. Multiple databank entries. And a skill point. 
Chapter 3, A Fateful Meeting. While descending into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, the Mantis crew became embroiled in a skirmish between Imperial forces and freedom fighters. Believing Wookiee Chieftain Tarful could be among them, Cal jumped ship and hijacked an ADAT, piloting it right into the infamous insurgent Saw General, Saw Guerrero. Saw and his fighters were in the middle of a campaign to liberate a nearby Warshire sap refinery. With the possibility that Tarful could be one of the Wookiees detained there, Cal and BD-1 agreed to help him. Well, either that or someone there could possibly know where to find him. Tactical guide. Anything new here? Doesn't look like it. More about characters. Other characters. Prouf and Saw. Hmm. I don't remember, but isn't he the fellow from Rogue One? Infamous Onderonian insurgent Saw Guerrera leads a group of opposition fighters against the Empire on the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. Harboring dark vengeance over the death of his sister during the Clone Wars, he lives by a blurred moral line, considering collateral damage to be a necessary evil. He comes to respect Cal as a strong potential ally and useful tool in his endless war. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember... I've only watched Rogue One a single time, and I wasn't really paying attention during that movie, so, yeah, it, it sounds like the same guy. Alright then, now where should we go? Alright, well, let's save, first of all. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. The save point is back here. Oh, that's already sprouting. Okay. And skill tree... I think I need this one now. <laughs> I like the way they show him just running around in a circle there for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so while wall running or sprinting, I get free blaster deflection. Works for me. Okay. Not quite an hour, but getting close. Let's do a little bit of recon first before we decide what to do. And I could go down there. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Looks like the only way to go. Heard Saw's hoping to find some news of Tarful at the refinery. A report came in this morning that he's been seen in the Shadowlands. One Imperial transmission pinned him near a Wookiee village, as if there aren't hundreds of those in the area. Stormtroopers. She's in no condition to fight. Uh, You're right. There's no time. Stay strong until we get back. Hmm. Yeah, well. Over here. Could be supplies inside this walker. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm fine. 
Whew. I'm fine. Maybe a little bruised, but it's not so bad. Don't scare me like that. I need you around. <laughs> Let's keep looking. There must be something useful in this heap. That's a good point. Things are even worse here than on Zepho. Zepho? The Gronk Droid. EG-6 power droids, also known as Gronk Droids, serve as portable power generators in mobile operations or in situations lacking a stable power source. They are utilized by civilians and military alike, often emitting a low honking noise that sounds like the word gonk. Yeah, I remember those. Okay, what's that? Thanks, BD1. Weapon cache. These specialized Imperial flamethrowers <laughs> have been modified to more effectively incinerate Kashyyyk's wildlife. Okay, is this the direction I'm supposed to be going, or is it back there? Okay, let's see. Wait a second, where's the... So there's nothing back there? And there's a force field over there. Can't go that way. Things are even worse here than on Zepho. So were these folks on Zepho? map made it look like it was just a dead end down here. And... Yeah. Looks like it is indeed a dead end. Ah, uh, but with a treasure chest. Oh, alright then. What do we find? Rainforce Poncho. Oh yeah, now that one, yeah, that one looks appropriate for the setting. Dark colors, easy to camouflage with. This is pretty much a dead end. Nowhere to go down here. Looks like nothing else to collect from what I can see. So yeah, we need to go back that way. Ah, uh, but we've passed the one hour mark, so... One more save, and then I'm going to cut the video keep going the wrong way. You know, the last two planets, the exit was on that side, so I keep forgetting that I'm not coming in from that side. All right. Well. So, let's save. And I will see you next time, viewers, on Let's Play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order as we proceed into the jungles of Kashyyyk and hopefully find Tarful to continue the plot. Later! Later!